Thank you for being here. Um, we have a number of people that have signed up. Now, you can sign up even later because we still have several slots still open. But at this point, we have one, two, three, four, five, six people sign up. And I was hoping to have ten. So if any of you are sitting in the audience and you feel inspired, please just come forward. The other thing is uh, you have up to five minutes or approximately, give or take five minutes. So if you have a song that say lasts two and a half minutes and you'd like to sing another song, or even if it goes to three minutes each, that's fine too. So if singers would like to sing a couple of songs, that's fabulous. We're going to be starting this evening's performances with Rick Marsh. Um, he is a storyteller. And following Rick, at this point, now this uh, is the order that I have at this point, but once again, other people may be coming. Addie Chinian, Addie, you are right here, and Addie is going to perform on the piano. Thank you so much, Addie. And um, Rennie, you are right there, and she is Kilcoin in. Um, you're going to be singing. Now, do you play the piano too, or? It's my only accompaniment. Oh, well, I play And Annette, where is Annette? Annette is an incredible harp harpist. And then Janine Puglesi is an extraordinary uh, performer. My daughter is going to be coming later. Now, whether or not we can. Get her up on the stage. We'll see. Now, we are also, uh, we, this is free of charge, but we will gratefully accept donations. And the church has just uh, voted to create a new mission, which is going to be a mission dedicated to um, the environment and energy conservation. And we are starting a special fund. And the fund is to create energy upgrades for the parsonage, for the Davis, and for the church. And uh, so we're hoping eventually to have solar panels and, and make sure that things are as tight as possible, but all of this uh, takes special funding. So, and anyway, this is the first of a series of four. I, uh, Quadden's got talent, and please spread the word. We, um, and we will have, we have judges uh, now, have we decided on the judges? Anne, you are one of the judges. And Phil, you are a judge. And um, I suppose I could be a judge too at this point. And uh, I also want to thank all the people who donated food today. And, and of course, uh, Janine and her sister Christine helped decorate. And, and there's so many people. Could you just raise your hands? Anyone who donated food? Uh, there were a number of people, and thank you so much. It's wonderful. All right. So, without further ado, Rick, are you ready to start? Ready. Go ahead. Well, there's no talent, huh? Yeah. Well, let's, let's see. Well, I've got two pieces. I could read one or I could read the other, or perhaps I could read both, but I'll start with one just in case you don't like it very much. And so I gave you a choice. One's titled Sympathy, whatever that's worth, and one's called F, 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 F. F. Which would you like? One takes five minutes, one takes four and a half minutes. How about lots of Fs or Sympathy? How? Raise your hand. Which one do you want? How about all the Fs? How about Sympathy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sympathy wins. So, I'm convinced I broke at least two ribs the other day. I probably broke three. I really did this, but I probably broke t three, but two anyway. I take my car to the local garage, which incidentally is called the garage, uh, to differentiate it between and in the package store, which is called package store. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know how anyone could mix them up, but there would be some surprise if they did. You can just imagine. Anyway, I took my car to the local garage had the oil change, and since I was in a hurry, I had decided to get like an expedited process, and I got my checkbook out of the car. 
So I can pay in advance and I have to wait for them to finish working on the car. Makes a lot of sense for me. So here I am reaching through the open window, trying to reach the check button out of the center console all the while standing on the left, about 16 feet in the air. But all of a sudden my foot slipped off whatever slippery thing I was standing on, and I came crashing down on the side of the car door, the right side of me breaking two ribs at least, maybe three, breaking one, two, perhaps three. And the mechanic saw me and he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm, I'm trying to uh, reach my checkbook all the while, trying very hard not to moan. And he said, well, why don't you wait until I put the car back out on the ground and, and then you can open the door and you won't have to balance on the side of the car with your head and half of you through the window and the other half of you dangling on the outside of the other side of the car. And, and you know how stupid you look? He says, I wish I had a camera. I'm thinking, I wish I had a doctor. And I finally got my feet back on the left and climbed down the floor, which was actually only about two feet off the ground. And I said, good idea. And as I walked back to the other side of the sign that read employees only and no admittance and keep out and, and all that. And, and I didn't have a checkbook until after the work was all finished and I had to wait. And, and, and that made my side hurt even more. And, the worst thing was that I couldn't even tell anyone or even say ow oh, until after I'd gotten the checkbook and the bill and paid up and driven away. And then I said ow. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, my, my friend Katie said, you're a wuss, whatever that means. You probably didn't even break anything, you were always scared because you might have broken something. You probably cried like a baby, wah, wah, wah. You should try having a baby. That's all I said to me. Thank you. Thank you. 
see if you can do the discipline of theater. Right? He goes out there and he talks to Rhino and he says, Oh, Rhino, you tell beautiful today. What have you been doing? I thought Rhino was a very much attention to Where a rabbit gets hold of the bunny and ties their bunny down to his own head. Rhino's not paying a good attention to this. And then the rabbit turns around and goes down to where he did the gecko was. And he talks to the for a few minutes and he says, well, Hippo, you're looking very well. Of course, Hippo's trying to sleep and not pay much attention to what's going on. And of course, where's the other end of the line? On the back of the Hippo's leg. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Morgan starts to move. And Hippo didn't like that one. This is dry up because they started to feel something going on. And what is happening? And it was full and full and full. And guess what Bear Rabbit was doing? He was sitting in the back and he was laughing. Well, it turns around and they might even notice what's happening. They all down. And he goes, Jesus, the rabbit had gotten the rabbit. As usual. And he's going to have to do the table to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
prices this evening are $50 for the top prize, which has, is part of uh, funding that we received from the Peter Sam Cultural Council, and we thank you very much for that. And then we also have um, a hat, uh, a wonderful winter hat that has been knit by uh, Ann Perkins, and also a gift certificate from the Peter Sam Crafts Vendor. So these are all wonderful. Yes. And also the uh, uh, massage. Oh, oh, it's back here. I didn't know. I had it. Okay, well then, um, we are giving three awards this evening, so our second place winner will have a choice of the massage, <laughs> the, um, the gift certificate, or the hat, and then yeah, as well as the third place gift I also have Ken Nett Molino socks, <coughs> non-scratchy, you know, beautiful green, um, donated by Sue Helen, and you can put from that. Also. Well, then, then what we can do is we will lay up. We're only giving three prizes per evening's performance. So, um, I mean, maybe the top award winner will, in fact, choose those socks for the Fifty dollars. <laughs> so we don't know. We don't know. The cash may go untouched for a while. So and uh, now um, our next contestant, Janine, and I have a possible uh, final contestant prior to the close of this section of our very exciting audience hotel. And and if you could sing two songs. <laughs> um, and one final announcement, uh, this is a further inducement. Now, anyone, anyone in the audience can spontaneously decide to do something. You can tap dance, you can tell a tale, you can do whatever you want. And every contestant has their pick of um, dessert afterwards, too. Free of charge. This is so you automatically are a winner. So you can pick a couple of things before you leave, okay?
judges will confer, and then we will choose the first, the top three people who will perform one more time, and then we'll make a determination. However, now Will. Thank you. This one? Yeah. Well, um, now it's been a great year. Um, I have a little story to tell, I didn't, even though I didn't prepare anything to make it, I'm just more than willing to just share a little something to me. So, you know what's been going on the last year. And, and, well, so far it's been a good year of um, you know, music in the town of Orange and the North Wild region. And uh, one of my favorite parts of the year are this Orange community band, uh, band concert in the town of Orange. You know, they all get together six weeks out of the summer season, plus they have a May concert um, annually. And uh, in just a couple of years, they've been performing like from Athol Orange Schools. Once a year, they do a very special combined concert where the um, Orange community and Peter Sam Brass, um, Mahar, Athol, Forrest and Dan get together. It's a good way to push into music, you know. It makes you think what kind of music goes in everybody's mind today. And uh, just like tonight, um, this is a very special talent show, and, um, you know, where people can get out and enjoy everybody's company, just like, you know, like the band concerts in Orange. And I hear also there's a Peter Sam concert on Sunday night during the summer over there, the common over there. And uh, even though we got to fight the mosquitoes, <laughs> not fun, <laughs> but yeah, as long as everybody has bug spray. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, it's been a great, you know, year. Also, uh, Genevieve um, also helped us get together for a weekend musical last year in Orange Town Hall. In spite of the heavy humidity and heat for us, we had to swelter in our costumes. But, you know, um, uh, I, I play the role of a um, Union soldier that gets shot um, in the casualty. It was, I know it's a sad role, but it was one of my best.
first person gets their choice of everything. At any rate, the first prize winner will get their choice of a $50 cash prize, a gift certificate from the Peter Sam Craft Center, a wonderful hat that I've been uh, thinking I would like myself, but of course I didn't have the courage to compete, that Ann made, and some wonderful woolen socks, and uh, a massage. Uh, a half hour massage uh, from Ellen Woodbury. Of course, Ellen unfortunately just uh, had a, took a, a tumble, so uh, it, it may be just a little bit of time before she can uh, honor that, but her massages are fabulous. Okay, now, first of all, I'm going to announce those that uh, have won their choice. You can take anything you want off that dessert table. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank them so very much. Um, I'm the first person, because I know she's been buying things, and in all honesty, uh, she did win the top adorable award. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Addie Chittigan. <laughs>
And remember, some people actually eat cats, and some people actually eat rats. And uh, they're likely the ones that are anti-cat because of the competition for food. So, so what if, what if we ask the government to stop awarding grant money to people for ridiculous projects, and instead ask the same government to purchase and distribute sufficient quantities of cat food, and then feed all the cats on the planet every day? That would keep all the rats and mice and birds and chipmunks and pigeons and the and the uh, CRAP people uh, could all rally around the FFFFFF, which was feeding furry felines fancy feast. <laughs>
that members of the audience also get to vote. But in order to do that, we would have to create a little ballot box and, and do that sort of thing and then um, have ballots ready. So we will integrate that. The other suggestion is that we are trying to get more kids involved. Everything from tap dancing to ballet to storytelling to uh, singing to piano playing. And we would like to develop a special kids category with kids awards. And so they would have their own. So please spread the word. We had a great time this evening. And so without further ado, um, the, I'm going to start with the third prize winner is actually a draw between two of the contestants. So there are two third prize winners. And they are Rick and Rene. How do you pronounce your name?